So the key risk factors for osteoporosis is really advancing age, um, and we often think about women uh, more in terms of osteoporosis. If you have a family history of osteoporosis, in particular having a parent who've had broken bones, in particular a hip fracture, then you would be someone at higher risk of having osteoporosis in your lifetime. If you're on specific medications that affect bone health, in particular steroids, long-term use of anticonvulsants, aromatase inhibitor therapy, for example, for breast cancer, you would also be at higher risk of osteoporosis. There are certain medical conditions um, that affect your bone health as well, and this would include inflammatory conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis, um, inflammatory bowel disease, and parathyroid disease. Um, people who are of smaller body size um, also tend to have lower bone mass, so this would be in general a, a higher kind of a risk um, population um, in terms of developing osteoporosis with advancing age. Osteoporosis uh, risk increases particularly in the menopausal phase uh, because estrogen is actually good for your bones. So uh, when a woman goes through menopause and um, your ovaries uh, decrease the amount of estrogen production and eventually postmenopause when there's no more estrogen production, the bones go through a rapid phase of bone loss for the first few years of that menopausal transition. So other risk factors that I didn't mention earlier does include uh, ex uh, smoking, so being a current smoker, as well as excess alcohol uh, consumption. And we generally define excess alcohol consumption being more than about three units per day. So those lifestyle factors definitely affect your bone health, and those are two modifiable risk factors that, uh, that you can work on to decrease your risk of osteoporotic fractures.